we've watched a ton of these movies, we understand sort of the, the lore and mythology and want to be respectful of it, but we were able to want to say, how do we put our own unique spin on it? How can we come up with something that feels true and part of this genre, but all, at the same time is something completely unique and original at the same time? So it's a little bit of push-pull between those two ideas, but I think we really were able to accomplish something, something special by saying, hey, look, we're in the Dracula mythology, we're true to everything that you would expect from a Dracula movie, but we're getting at something unique with the story of Renfield. When he entered the room and sort of makes his entrance, we had the lightning flash, right? We had that going and he came in the door, everyone's like, oh, it's a different, it's a different movie now. And him coming in and doing that, and he really just seems to fully embrace it. Even when we were doing the camera test, he was just running through his lines because he had sort of completely put them to memory. He was completely off book just for the camera test, which was incredibly impressive. Um, so anyway, it was really impressive, but the main thing I think he brings is this, this sense of menace. Chris McKay is uh, an absolute detail-oriented guy. So he wants to understand everything down he wants to understand everything all the way down to the smallest element up to the big. He wants to know how everything impacts everything else, whether it's, we're talking about the script, whether it's a schedule, whether it's shooting or lighting or hair. He really does contain the entire vision for the film inside his head. And it's, it's, really, it's really been a unique and interesting experience to, to see that manifest itself on screen.